Hi, this is Pedia Berzerg Arcade at BerzergArcade.com, and this is tutorial 201. So let's go ahead and open up Unity. And there's a few little bugs that I want to fix. And I'm going to start off with our main menu, which is our first scene in our our game. And uh, let me see, we actually only have one script in the scene, and it's called the main menu. Now to start off with, I'm going to click Clear Preps, and if we actually open up the script, uh, let's get this centered. I will see it does a quick check here, and it says, uh, you know, if we actually have player pre or the clear press click, it just goes ahead and deletes all our keys. And that actually reminds me, in our character generation scene, if we go down to the bottom, uh, where we're doing all our edits, <laughs> we should clean this up a bit. So let's get rid of these comments so our actual stats are being saved. And I'm just going to comment this line out. And I'm also going to comment out the debug with stuff. Uh, you can go ahead and delete it if you want. And we should change this. And we also should go take a look in here. We have four levels, so after the character generator scene, we actually want to go to the character customization. And of course, these start off at zero, so zero, one, two. Let's make sure it's going to the right one. It is. And in our main menu, uh, well, let's just go through it. I haven't actually looked at this since we created it, and that was probably about two months ago. I seem to have lost my cursor. There we go. Okay, I didn't put a date out, but it was probably about two months ago that we created this file. So let's just go ahead and start it off. Uh, we'll click play. And the bar automatically fills up, and we're getting level ready. So let's scroll up to the top here. And we're seeing that there is no bar key set, and that's because we were clearing the prefs. And deleting the keys, saving character, or sorry, saving version, and then right to level ready. So let's follow that logic. So it starts off, there's no version key. So we come down, we're deleting all the keys, so obviously there's not going to be any. Uh, right here, it checks to see if we have a key called version, which we won't. And if we don't, it comes down to this else block. Uh, there is no version key. Uh, right? Deleting keys, and it just goes through and deletes everything. Saves the version, uh, so it sets the version, which is a float. And it tells us that the level we want to load is going to be equal to our character generation. Uh, so character generation is loading up level 1. And I'm actually going to increase this a bit. And let's take a look to make sure level 1 is the one we want. We actually don't need this anymore. So I'm going to close. Oh, sorry. We don't need this one anymore. So character generator. Uh, I don't think that matches my scene. I believe I changed the actual scene name, at least for me. And I did it. It's called character generation now. So I'm just actually going to cut and paste that name directly into my script uh, right here. Alright, so that's done. Uh, if we come back and run it again, uh, not much different has happened. Let me here click clear there just so we start off with something fresh. And let's take a look. There's no version key. Okay, well Let's stop it. Oops, sorry, that was starting again. And take a look. It looks like the exact same thing is happening. So it sets the level load to character generator. So we come down into our update, and it says, you know, if we don't have a level to load, just return. Uh, we have some code in here to take care of our streaming. And where do we actually load? So we're loading right here. Okay, everything should be okay. Uh, except <laughs> we're getting it from the wrong place. We're actually using game settings or game setting two now instead of game settings. Uh, let's try that out. And there we go. It loads up uh, extremely fast because I'm running in the desktop mode. I meant for it to be streaming, so it's going to be a little bit slower. 
but it loads up right away. Uh, let's go ahead, we'll go back, main menu, I'm going to uncheck clear press. Let's start it back up, and it still goes back. See, this is where my problem was. I wanted to give the user a chance to be able to delete their character and create a new one, or to enter directly into the world. And let's actually go through the process and make a quick character. So I don't know, I'll just increase his might, his constitution, his nimbleness, his speed, his concentration, his willpower, and let's drop some charisma and give him some more constitution. Nobody likes him. And I'll just hit next, and it brings us to our character customization. I'll just take the default, we'll hit next, and we actually haven't set it to uh, do anything yet because we still have to come back and actually save these settings. So I'll quickly write that down and we'll go to that next after we've done this little section. Uh, for now I'm actually going to go into the character generator and load up a different level. I'm going to go to 3 which should be our uh, tutorial level. So 0, 1, 2, 3. I'm going to do the same thing here. Actually this should have been three anyway. Uh, this is the first level, so our tutorial level. And let's try this now. So it should load up and it should drop us into our world. I'll get rid of those panels. And I've been playing around a lot with this stuff, so I'm not even sure if it's going to work. Yeah, i got to fix all this stuff still, but that's fine. Uh, it did load up, but like I said, I want to be able to give that the player the chance to be able to uh, delete their character if they want. So let's do one more quick check. I'm going to clear it, start it, stop it, and take a look. So there is a version key. So let's come in. We'll just go through the uh, the process. So there is a version key. So it comes down here. I do not have it checked anymore. Uh, it says there is a version key. So it checks to see uh, what the version is. So if the version key does not equal our current version, we have to do some sort of upgrade, upgrade to the player press. So this is useful for adding new stats or we want to change something about the player. Uh, right now at this point there is nothing so we go down here. Saved version is the same as the current version. Right here. Uh, there is a player name tag. So let me see if the player gets string player name. Uh, the player does not... Uh, so if it does not equal equal, so we're going to come down here. So the player name, or the player name key is value, so right here. Then it goes down to level ready. So let's take a look. We'll go down here. Uh, so it's not going to equal that. So that finishes. Then it's going to, we should be setting it. Yeah, the first level. Uh, we'll come down here to first level where it loads up and let me actually put this up on a web build alright so I've got a build made and I put it up on the web and I'm gonna go to it now uh, there's no point in actually trying to go to this link as I'm the only one that can access this link and I'll post a build a little later on but as you see when it first starts up I don't have a character made so it presents me with the character creation scene, which is fine. That's what we want. Uh, I'll just go ahead and make a dummy character. And I haven't adjusted the speed at which the points are spent, so I'll probably want to do that a little later on, but that's fine. And then when I hit next, I go into the world. I got my character. Now I can round around everything else. But what I wanted to show was if I reload now, uh, you'll get the bar at the bottom saying that it's loading. And we have these two options to either delete our character or load our character. But if you watch this bar down here, which, yeah, I know I still have to adjust the format here, but it's a small thing. Uh, when it hits 100%, it automatically loads you in. And that's not the desired effect that I want. Uh, but it's an easy fix. Hey. So I'm going to go back into my script. I'm going to go to uh, where it actually sets the level to load if it detects that we have a name. Uh, there's no player name key. Uh, the player name, okay, right here, where it tells us to load the first level. What I'm actually going to do is say display options equals true. And I'm going to comment that line out where we tell it to load up the first level automatically. 
And if we come down here where we take a look at the display options, and it says, you know, if we have, if display options is equal to true, uh, then display this menu. So let's actually just go back into the Unity version since we've added that. And if we start it up, uh, since we already have our character built, it now presents us with this menu. And of course, we can hit load, uh, load character, and it just loads us right into the game. Or if we wish, we can hit delete character, and it'll load us up in the character scene. Uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to do for uh, the main menu part, uh, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.